Hello and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll be talking about how to fill out and submit the ASBA and or BBA petition. Okay, so before, very important to know, before you fill this petition out, you first need to go through what is called final term registration advising. This means you have to speak with your advisor beforehand. Uh, if you have not already done so, then you are definitely filling this out too early. You are also filling this out too early if you have not fully registered, meaning if you have not received an email with your registration form for your final term, such as this one, this is what it looks like. If you have not received this, then you are also filling this petition out too early. So please be sure to get your advising done and be registered before you do this. Okay, some other things to keep in mind. If you are missing any internships, if you have not already registered for them and you haven't taken any CPT, if you're an F1 student, uh, then just know that that is a requirement you need to meet. It cannot be uh, waived. Also, if you're a BBA or ASBA student, your GPA needs to be above a 2.0. So at the time that you are filling this petition out, if it is a 1.99 or below, just know that you're also going to be deemed ineligible to graduate, not eligible. We still do recommend that you fill out this petition before the deadline just to avoid any late fees, but I just want you to be aware of that. So don't be surprised if you get a notice from the office of the registrar saying you are not eligible to graduate. You are still eligible to submit this petition at a later time once you do meet all these requirements. And fortunately, you do not have to pay again to do that. Now the deadline depends on what session you will be graduating in. So you can click this link, which will take you to the calendar. And the calendar, uh, you will need to look at uh, the session you are planning to graduate in. So for this example, we'll use summer session one. If you're planning to graduate this, this session, then you can scroll down and find where it says graduation petition deadline. Uh, the graduation petition costs $25. And the deadline is May 4th, so it's the same day that classes begin. And pretty much it's the same for every session you graduate. The petition deadline is almost always going to be the first day of classes of that session. Okay, so that is the deadline. You can submit it anytime before then. Anytime after May 4th, just know that you will be charged a late fee. So you will be charged instead of 25, you will have to pay double, you have to pay 50. So we don't want anyone to have to accrue any late fees. So we always recommend that you submit this before the deadline, even if you don't fully meet these requirements. Okay, all right. Um, so the fee, as I mentioned, is $25. It is non-refundable. And one thing that uh, is not mentioned here is it is a one-time only fee. So again, if you submit your petition before the deadline and you are deemed ineligible to graduate, you can submit a new petition once you have met all the requirements and you do not have to pay this fee again. I just wanted to clarify that for some people. Also, the late petition is uh, going to come into effect after the deadline. So any day after the deadline, you have to add this to your, um, your payment. The payment itself can be made here. Um, I already have this tab open, so if you click that link, it will take you to our website, um, which is iau.la, different from my IAU, very different. So some of you are used to paying your tuition on my IAU, some of you are used to paying your tuition on iau.la. So it's very similar. Uh, you would scroll down a bit, um, you'll see some uh, places where you can pay your tuition, parking, uh, document fees, I-20s, things like that. Uh, so for graduation petition, you'll find it under the graduation memorabilia category, and you will add that to your cart. Okay, and then uh, once you do that, it will take you to the checkout page, uh, which you click here. If you are submitting this petition after the deadline, for your uh, graduation session. Um, just note that you're also going to have to add, uh, go to the late penalty fees section and you will have to add a late graduation petition fee. This is only if you submit it after the deadline. 
So you'll have to have two charges of 25 each for a total of 50. Okay, and then it'll take you to the checkout page and you will fill out all of your information regarding your payment, billing information, etc. Once you fill this out and uh, you finalize the payment, you will receive an email with your receipt. That email you will need to forward to registrar at iau.la. This is the email of the office who is in charge of processing uh, any and all graduation petition uh, requests and inquiries. And they will need to have access to the payment because they do not have direct access to payments that students make. So please forward that to them, otherwise they have no way of knowing that you already paid the petition. And coming back here, <clears throat> the processing time takes about a week or two, and then they will issue you a notice of graduation, either ineligibility or eligibility, uh, meaning you they'll let you know if you are on track or not. Uh, and then you start filling out your information, your name, your ID, your email address. For your mailing address, it's very important that we have the most up-to-date address in our records. If you are not sure if you have moved or anything like that, please uh, don't fill out this petition yet, just because uh, we do need to update your mailing address first in our, in our system. And it's also a legal thing that we have to do with CVIS, so please let us know within 10 business days if there are any changes to your mailing address. If there are changes to your mailing address, you will need to submit something called an update information request form which is actually down here, uh, and I'll go over that in just a little bit, but be sure to do that first. And then once you do that and your mailing address is updated, then you can just type in your new address here. And then you will type in, either you can type in or find on the calendar your date of birth. I find typing it is a lot faster. For major designation, you can just ignore that. You do not have to type anything unless your advisor tells you otherwise. This should be blank. Your graduation session, you will pick whichever session it is you are graduating. Here, uh, this is a list of things that, uh, some different options for you to pick from. There's no right or wrong answer here. This is more of an opinion of, because uh, this is for F F1 students. Once you graduate, this is basically some options that you have after you graduate, what you are planning to do. If you are not an F1 student, you just simply click this top one here. But if you are, uh, if you're planning to apply for OPT, go back home, transfer uh, to a different school, or enroll at IAU, these are all the different options that you have to pick from. Um, so there's no right or wrong answer, and if you change your mind at a later time, you don't get in trouble or anything. Uh, this is just so that we know what kind of information to send you. Okay, for diploma name printing, this is going to ask you to review your name and how it is spelled on my IAU. So uh, if it is spelled correctly, you just click my name is, in, uh, is correct as indicated in my IAU. If you find that there is a typo of any sort, if there's something wrong with your name, then you will want to submit this update information request form. And the link is here. So anytime your contact information changes, your name changes, anything like that, you will need to submit this form as well. Uh, there's no fee to do this. It's absolutely free to do. You just fill out your information and then when you click next, it'll ask you what information you're updating. So you can pick either your name, your address, anything like that. So this you will want to do to make sure everything, all information is up to date in our records. <clears throat> and then lastly, you will click this box here saying that you acknowledge your diploma is only going to be given to you when your grades are published, when everything's finished, and when all financial obligations have been met, meaning you do not owe IAU any money. Okay, and then when you click next, it's just going to be a survey of your opinions of IAU and your time at IAU. And then after that, you're done with the petition. It's pretty straightforward, but if you do have any questions specifically about your program, please contact your program advisor, your academic advisor. If you have any questions specifically related to this petition, um, please contact registrar at iau.la. Thank you and have a good day.